I'm Harini Sundaragavan. I'm an assistant professor in biomedical engineering at Wayne State. We focus on neural tissue engineering, so developing materials that promote nerve regeneration. So the focus of tissue engineering is usually to develop materials to replace diseased tissue. So we're looking at both peripheral and central nervous system. So focused on spinal cord regeneration for people with a spinal cord injury and um, peripheral nerve regeneration if you have some sort of peripheral nerve injury. Particularly in the spinal cord, for a long time it was thought that the neurons cannot regrow. They're, once they're dead, they're just dead. Um, but more recently it's been found that the main problem is that the environment that the neurons are in is not conducive to their growth. So the neurons are seeing cues that make them not want to grow through those injury sites. And that's where the, the neural tissue engineering comes in. So we're trying to replace that injured scar tissue with a material, a more favorable material, a material that the neurons want to grow on and can grow on. So what we're trying to make is a fibrous conduit, a nerve growth conduit that um, that you can physically put into the injury site that will promote and direct the neurons to cross that injury gap. Um, we add fibers to our materials using a process called electrospinning where we can um, kind of align these fibers. So neurons tend to grow along different topographical cues. So they can follow this fiber alignment and that's one thing we're really excited about because um, we want to be able to direct the neurons kind of across these injury sites. Um, you know, if you look at it through a, through high magnification, you'll see these nanofibers. And that's the material that the cells can feel and grow on. So we want to mimic neural tissue. So we want it to have a, the same a similar mechanics to neural tissue and the same type of adhesion sites so that neurons like to grow on them. Each professor is um, responsible for funding their own lab as far as materials, um, cell culture supplies, cells, um, the different lab equipment, um, the graduate students. So as part of my startup I'm, I have funding for two to three years depending on how it goes and then I really have to have my own funding after that so half my time is spent looking at writing grants and talking to people that fund grants and trying to get money for the lab. I mean the ultimate goal is to help the people that are severely injured because there really is no current treatment for people that have a very a severe injury and are actually quadriplegic or paraplegic. So the overall goal is to help people with more severe injuries.